What's up guys, Alvaro here and welcome back to the Bilingual Stock Market Channel. Let's go ahead and talk about some stocks that just posted earnings. Let's break them down from a technical standpoint. And also let's talk about what is going on in the markets. So the markets just go higher and higher and higher every single day. So today, and as usual, on Tuesdays and Thursdays, my friend Mario is joining me. What's up, bro? How are you? What's up, Alba? How you been? Thanks for having me. Doing pretty well, man. So we have a lot to talk about today. What do you think about what is going on in the markets as of now? The markets are in full Taylor Swift mode. Shake it off. <laughs> Every single news yeah. is good news for, uh, for these markets. Um, today we actually got bad news, at least from what I see. Uh, Mr. Charles Evans, which is the president of the Federal Reserve of Chicago, he mm -hmm. said that a 50 basis point hike would be reasonable and that mm -hmm. a 75 basis point hike would be okay. And we also mm -hmm. had Mary Daly, which happens to be the president of the Federal Reserve of San Francisco, mm -hmm. saying that inflation is way too high, unacceptable, mm -hmm. way too high. So the markets mm -hmm. are like, okay, but no one has mentioned a 100 basis point increase. So this mm. is good news, even though we know that the Fed is still going to be hiking rates, right? Mm. Um, at least I mean, of uh, course, in they're the going to. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what do you think, bro? Uh, until when the markets are going to be able to shake it off? Uh, I mean, like markets are actually like forward looking, as I said before, like they're just expecting the next CPI reading to drop. And if they did drop, I mean, as Paul said, is going to be data driven and mm -hmm. uh, his uh, hawkish stance will vary depends on the report or whatever we get. Right. Mm -hmm. So if you get a lower, lower than expected CPI print, then like market will, like, that's what happening right now. The market is pricing in like much lower rate hikes because they're so, expecting the inflation to come lower. So that's what's going on. I got you. So if we happen to have a better than expected CPI, mm -hmm. would you say that the bottom is in? Uh, no, I wouldn't say bottom is in, but at that point, market would have already priced in what it's expecting from the Fed, right? So maybe nah, come sell on, the news. Mario, give me a straight answer. Come on, man. <laughs> maybe sell the news. Uh, maybe sell the news. We All will right. drop from there. Okay. Once we know the unknown, so yeah, maybe, maybe, um, maybe not, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Next Friday, we have the jobs report. So that is also yes. going to be very critical, right? Um, very wage so. inflation is going to be critical. If I think, I mean, the markets have been successful at shaking off um, every single bad news. But mm -hmm. if the report on Friday happens to come out way worse than expected, and on top of that, mm -hmm. reflecting wage inflation, I don't think that, I don't think the markets are going to be able to shake it off, man. I mean, mm -hmm. maybe this is wish. I mean, maybe this is you know, wishful thinking. But I think that that, that would be very, very tough for the markets to digest in a positive way, you know, because uh, we're, we're I mean, expecting. Say, Mario, we are expecting um, 250,000 jobs to have been created um, mm -hmm. in July. Say mm -hmm. that we get a crazy reading, Mario, mm -hmm. 500,000 um, new jobs, and on top of that, if we happen to have a worse than expected reading when it comes to wage inflation. So it's like inflation isn't going away. Inflation is here to stay, as most mm -hmm. of us already know, right? And mm -hmm. dude, I am going, you know, uh, I, I drive around and in, and in every single shop that I go to, mm -hmm. you find a sign. Now hiding, now mm -hmm. hiding, now hiding. Apply, apply now, apply now. So the Fed won't be able, bro, to control inflation unless you know, the, the uh, unemployment rate goes higher. So a, a, a better than expected report um, would be a very bad, uh, you know, sign for the markets. Like, hey, maybe but, we, we are actually going to get a, a, a nasty CPI report once again. But I expect, I mean, I, I beg to differ here because uh, the probability of getting a higher than expected readings in the non-farm payrolls is kind of less. Okay. I believe like this time we're going to get hit hard with the payrolls number. Okay. And once we get it hard, that's when these idiots will start to waking up about, I mean, they changed the definition of recession because the job markets are strong, right? Correct. So <laughs> once we get a really bad payrolls number, then like market will just like market, I mean, bond markets are already calling out their bullshit and pricing in a recession right now. 
but which which is markets which is positive for the markets because then the markets uh, are yeah, gonna, because, yeah. the markets are going to say like okay so now the you know the, the the jobs market is weakening and that implies that sooner rather than sooner rather than later the fed is gonna is gonna pivot so that's uh, obviously good news yeah, for the market I mean, unless we go into a very deep recession and and very you know prolonged recession let's say that is that is true that's what i'm saying depending on the payrolls number i mean uh it's nothing to do with price but fundamentally speaking uh if we get a really bad payrolls number then like it's just pointing towards we are already but in a when you when you mean so, when you when you when you mean bad or negative you're talking about jobs destruction in july maybe yeah mm -hmm. yeah right. the we're not going to see a strengthening in jobs like we saw in the last few uh non-form payrolls so we might see a lower reading that's what i'm expecting below below 20 000, yeah, 20, 000 at least so, that's good news for the markets so you you, you see this rally um it depends um, depends now nah, i don't think this rally is gonna last but uh when it's when it sees the reports being bad and when it actually realizes what's, we're heading into a recession then we'll see the reaction and what's a catalyst for this rally to fail there are multiple uh, there are multiple as you said like uh maybe a higher cpi rating maybe like way under uh, way lower than expected jobs data and right now market is just like buying into the bullshit of whatever these uh administration Shake it and Fed is saying Shake yeah, it off. exactly yeah yeah the markets are in full taylor um <laughs> yeah <laughs> taylor swift mode just shake yeah. it off baby shake it mm -hmm. off so so far so, they have been successful at it so we'll see mm -hmm. how long it lasts right Yep. Yes, sir. There so you go. I, I, I know what's going to happen, to be honest with you. So it can it can do whatever it wants. But fundamentally speaking, uh, if we get a, a negative jobs data, then like uh, I'll be more happy to see the reaction of the administration. That's where the memes are from. So All good right. for content. <laughs> and what do you think about the CPI? Is it going to be, uh, uh, is, is it going to come out hotter than expected? Or did you see any I mean, improve? Uh, uh, when energy, it comes prices, to... energy prices are down. Not a lot, and not a lot, but I mean, comparatively, comparatively, I mean, okay, last month, I give to, you this, a, last yeah. month to this month, energy prices are down and uh, the prices of all the other commodities are coming down as well, like gold, silver, mm -hmm. copper, and everything is coming down as well. Lumber is down and uh, we should, for all these like commodity space or down, we got to focus now on the core side or uh, is everything is coming down, but is the core side like transportation and uh, shelter, Medis, Med, Medicare is all these coming down as well alongside with the energy. If these are not coming down, if the core is pushing higher and uh, energy is alone is down, then we will see the repeat of what we saw in like what when the Biden announced the strategic uh, reserve uh, when you open the strategic reserve and like we had like 11% drop in energy, but the CPI still came out harder than expected. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We can see something like that happen. Bro, so we um, might say it can uh, handle. you know that I am Venezuelan. Inflation is a very tough phenomenon, bro. When yep. it gets sticky, um, mm -hmm. when it spreads all mm -hmm. over the place, it, it mm -hmm. is very, but very tough to be defeated. So oh, yeah, I am not really, I, up, I, I am not really up, uh, optimistic when it comes to mm -hmm. this next CPI. I could be mistaken. Um, I would say, yeah, I hope so either. maybe, but I don't, <laughs> I, I don't know, man. I don't think that the Fed has been, uh, uh, aggressive enough in order to defeat inflation. So we'll see what happens with the CPI that report, but you mm -hmm. believe that this rally is coming to an end sooner rather than uh, sooner rather than later, right? Most likely, yes. Like, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if they pushed it to like 423. Can you please uh, show us the chart? Uh, what are you thinking oh, yeah, about? Sure. There you go. Sure, 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 sure. Let me All right. Share. So over here, as you can see, I won't be surprised if we push all the way to like 416 to 422. Mm -hmm. So that's still in cards, but and this might as this might very well be the top as well. We got rejected at the 100 SMA. We've been rejected for the past two days. We mm -hmm. couldn't pu push higher above this area. Maybe we come down all the way to 400 to run a test over there. And once we touch 400, maybe like we can just touch it and we can just bounce around and we can make a lower low. I mean, this will be a higher low technically. And then we yeah, can go there still, again, mm -hmm. touch, and then come down again and form a, another new trend to the downside. But you got to wait and watch. I mean, that's what happened over here. Like if you notice, like uh, I think like last Friday, I guess, like I don't know, on J July 22nd, mm -hmm. we pulled back and we pulled back to the 50 SMA and then gave a huge rocket ride. But I wouldn't be surprised if we came back and ran a test to this rejection area, which is at $400. That is like normal market behavior. 
Mm -hmm. So if it come to 400, I would I would expect some bias to show up there, even with the bad jobs data or whatever it is. Like okay. if you remove the noise, 400 is a very important spot. They will run a test to this area that's where they got number, rejected right? before. Very, very mm -hmm. fat number. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Because that's where we got rejected and pulled back a hefty sum as well. Like we pulled back like 10, 10 points from there. So they will come back to run a test to this area. Maybe happen like maybe it can happen after like what uh, the jobs data has been released. Maybe happen by uh, two days. I guess we mm -hmm. we don't know. But four hundred is very important. So we got. So keep what's it, what's your spot in order to get puts? Four four sixteen would be. Uh, I mean, like uh, that, I mean, a puts, possible spot you can trade in, it right for now. sellers like to if, show up, right? Uh, if if you don't want to wait until four hundred, if you want to capture the seven dollar move, you can go short if four or seven breaks to the downside. And that opens doors for 405, 405 to 404 range. Below that, then yeah, it opens doors for 400 pretty quick. Okay. And in terms of resistance to the upside, you said 416, right? Yeah, to the upside was it for the 100 SMA. Today it's at 410.96 and mm -hmm. it's negatively sloping as well. And watch out for this 100 SMA and above that, watch out for 413. And about 4.13, we can run a test to 4.16.40, which is also the top of the range, yeah. which we've been trading on. Of that bull flag that was mm -hmm. invalidated uh, back in bull early June. Yeah. When mm -hmm. it comes to Triple Q, what are you thinking about? The right. technology people? So let me just zoom, out, zoom in a bit. So All right. Yeah. Stop loss. All right. So if you take a look at QQQ, it's the same thing. So they don't want to go about 319. They've been rejected like two days in a row. Yeah. But the thing that's about- That's a tough spot for the bulls. Yeah. That's a previous yes, support, so. by the way, as well, right? Yep. yep. There mm -hmm. you go. So at least they're about 100 SMA in um, QQQ. So that's a good thing. So tomorrow morning, if they open under uh, 314, and they can come down again to run a test to like 312.71. If they break under 312.71, watch out for 310. And below 310, it's going to be 307. Got what about puts? Yeah, like 319 would be a spot to, to get puts, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. There you go. That's so if you go to 319 again tomorrow, you can enter a shot with the stops on. Mm -hmm. But if you want, like right now, right now, uh, if you want to take the shots, watch out for 312. If you break under 312, you can short it away all the way to like $310 or to the five-day moving average. And below 310, we are going all the way down to 307.41. There you go. Good. Let's go ahead and take a look at some earnings reports. Uh, Mario, AMD. AMD. Yeah. All right. They, they so... posted. I mean, I, I took a look at the report. It was a decent report. They are upguiding. Mm -hmm. So you have um, that they very have the report, right? Um, Pretty decent. Like uh, APS came in line. Yep. Revenue was a beat. And uh, yeah, they you said they also upguided, but the stock the is sales. <laughs> yeah, they, they, they yep. upguided when it comes to sales. Mm hmm. Um, so if you want to take a trade on this tomorrow, uh, watch out for the opening print. If you open uh, above like 94.50, there is a good opportunity to trade long there all the way to like $97, right? Mm -hmm. But if they open under 94, well, you can short it all the way to like 91 bucks. The easy trade over there tomorrow morning. Yeah, let me take a look at the guidance quickly, Mario. I have it here on TD Ameritrade. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Let me um, go... There you go, live news. Let me see where are you at? You're here, so let me. Um, there you go. No, it's not the option. I need to minimize you. There you go. So, when it comes to guidance, um, you're looking at um, 6.9 billion dollars when it comes to sales for Q3 versus 6.82 billion estimate. So mm -hmm. an acceptable bit when it comes to uh, sales for next quarter and full year 2022 sales mm -hmm. um, should be between 26 billion up to 26.6 billion dollars versus 26.18 billion estimate. So wow. yeah, this was a this was a bit a top and bottom line and also when it comes to uh, to commercial guidance. So this stock might mm -hmm. be a runner tomorrow uh let's go ahead and take a look now at um sofi or so, another company that posted right. very solid uh, uh results today and this all is right. a you know a, a stock that is um heavily traded by retail oh, yeah. investors like a mm -hmm. lot there you go it got smacked I it is tra it is trading what is it trading at it is at right um, now it's trading at six dollars and 81 cents currently okay. getting rejected at the 100 sma again i am so. kind of playing on earnings here because i i got 500 shares last week 
-hmm. So if it happens to go higher tomorrow, I am going to be locking in the profit. Mm -hmm. So right now I can see like uh, uh, the level to watch out for seven dollars and eleven cents. Very mm -hmm. important level. They got rejected multiple times over here mm -hmm. uh, on May May fourth, and they got rejected again over here, which is on July twenty first, right? Mm -hmm. So. If they go above seven dollars and thirteen cents, you can really easily take this trade all the way to like seven dollars sixty eight cents or like to seven dollars and ninety one cents to the upside. Good. But if we do get rejected over here at seven dollars eleven cents, don't be surprised to see it come all the way down to like six dollars seventy three, or again come back all the way down to run a test to six dollars and twelve cents again. And keep in mind, guys, that we as of now we have a lot of people gambling on earnings. Uh, sofa is up a lot after hours so don't rule out profit taking tomorrow as as soon as the trading session opens obviously right mm -hmm. let me take yep. a look at the earnings um quickly um on sofa here you go oh no i need to minimize you all right and let me pull up my sofa shirt and let's see what they did because they it, this was a very solid report so let me see um eps um have full year okay eps came in at a loss of 12 cents beating the estimate of 13 cents and sales came mm -hmm. in at 356.09 million dollars beating the estimate this was a nice beat mario 346.48 yep. million dollars very solid yep. report and full year 2022 sales guidance should be at um let me see should be between 1.508 billion dollars up to 1.513 billion dollars versus get this mario 1.48 billion dollars estimate jesus wow very solid report for sofi so the stock of this company might be a runner in tomorrow's trading session now let's go ahead and take mm -hmm. a look at paypal another stock that is flying after hours i didn't take a look at the report but I think mm -hmm. that Elliott Management announced a stake on PayPal, and that's the reason why uh, this stock We're is flying. Higher. Oh, yeah, and a lot. There you go. Right, so... If I it is up like 10% after hours, right? Oh, yeah, it's getting, it's struggling near that $100 range for now. Okay. That's what's happening. Which is a, so, it, it, it's a, a, a tough spot for the bulls, needless to say. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if they fail at hundred dollars tomorrow, uh, it can come down all the way uh, to ninety-two. I won't be surprised, or even like ninety-five. At yeah. Least um, again, Mario, guys, expect profit taking. So this stock has made a monster uh, push to the upside after hours. So be mindful that we can see profit taking. So something like that can happen, mm -hmm. and if they push above it, then like we can just oh my drawing is shit. Like we can just come back to 100 and then run a test to like 107. So the, this gap over here might get filled uh, with the resistance at 105. But if they get rejected at like $100, I won't be surprised at all if they just come back all the way down to like what, uh, running a test to 92 again, 92.86, or even coming back okay, lower to run a go. test to this 100 SMA. So any any visit down to 92 bucks might be a, might be a buying opportunity. Yep, 90, 92, 92, uh, 86 to 94 levels. There you go. Don't Just chase it, guys. Don't chase it because mm -hmm. the, you know, the, the push of the upside was, was huge, right? Mm -hmm. uh, yep. Let me take a look at the earnings report of PayPal quickly. And then let's take a look at Airbnb. And that Ooh. is going to be it for this video. So PayPal Holdings. Let me see if I have the info um, handy over here. Um, payments. I mean, we have a lot of categories when it comes to PayPal. Um, let me see. Do you happen to have the information handy? Uh, I'm afraid I don't have it. Okay. Uh, EPS. Yeah. yeah, I have EPS came in at 93 cents, beating the estimate of 86 cents. Sales came in at $6.80 billion, beating the estimate of $6.78 billion. Uh, okay. PayPal Holdings is full year 22 sales. Um, be at actually $27.85 billion versus $28.18 billion estimate. So they, they are missing when it comes to full year 2022 um, sales guidance. And mm -hmm. they raised EPA, EPS guidance to um, $3.97 versus wow. $3.85. So it was a decent report. And on top of that, we got good news because Elliott Management announced a stake on PayPal. All right, so Airbnb, Mario. 
Airbnb. Tell me what do you see over there? This is a stock that a lot of people like. So Ooh, what do you they just got over there? Build on every earnings, huh? It is it is falling after hours, right? Yeah. I'm thinking, yeah. They All get right. killed on every single earning. So uh, <laughs> right now, like they're sitting at important support at 105. So if you break under 105, watch That's out. That's a previous support and resistance, right? Over there, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If they break, the AV VAP from the lows is currently sitting at 100 bucks. So they can come down to run a test 100 bucks if they break under 105 tomorrow. So don't chase for puts as long as the price is staying above the range of like 104 to 105. If you break under 105, you can take the trade to $100. That's a good trade, which is also like the AVWAP from the lows, which is currently sitting at 101 to $100. So you can take the trade over there. And if you want to go long, uh, if, if you open above 105, you can consider setting up your first long position over there. Mm -hmm. And you can trade this all the way to like uh, 110. And the second long position will be at 101 to 100 if they break under 105. There you go. So um, you wouldn't you, you wouldn't trade this name, right? Uh, I would take a trade if we if I if it offers me hundred bucks, I would take it. Oh, a long okay. trade, I guess, right? Uh, long, yeah, long. All right, long. okay, okay, that's fine. Mm -hmm. Let me take a look at the report. Mm -hmm. Let's see what they did. And okay, Airbnb. Because if you guys want to take a trade on any of these stocks that we just broke down here, take a look at the earnings report first. Okay, so don't jump into it um, straight up. So Sorry. let me see. Uh, no, I don't have much information over here. Do you do you happen to have it, Mario? I don't have. Uh, for um, people. Uh, no, for uh, Airbnb. for Airbnb. Yeah, I do. I do. Uh, they I they do. announce a share buyback um, yes, so, of so two billion they dollars. Missed on, they missed on revenue and their okay. earnings. EPS was a beat. They reported zero point five six, but expected was zero point four five. But revenue was a slight miss. It came in line, to be honest with you, but it's okay. just a slight miss. And uh, guidance wise, I do have guidance. Yeah. yeah, Q3 sales should be between 2.78 billion dollars up to 2.88 billion dollars versus 2.77 billion estimate. So they are they are up guiding actually when it comes to sales. So this was a decent yeah. report, Mario. It, it wasn't not bad. Yeah, mm -hmm. not bad. So there you go, guys. We went over the earnings reports of AMD, SoFi, PayPal, Airbnb. And Mario, tell the guys about your Patreon and about your YouTube channel. Yes, I have a YouTube channel. Link is down below in the description. Guys, ahead, if, you want to take, if you want to take trades with spreads, vertical mm -hmm. spreads, Mario has a lot of very nice videos yep. about mm -hmm. vertical spreads, vertical spreads, sorry. So go ahead and take a look or click yes, uh, the link that is uh, down below in the description box of this video mm -hmm. and about your patreon tell the guys three tiers so um, i do have patreon as well so we have everything so if you are a futures trader we have a separate tire for that to give you numbers for futures and we have a regular tire which offers you a trade ideas and uh, numbers on spy and qqq every morning for level three, you'll get access to live streams and you'll get access to voice uh, voice chats like every once and not every once like three times a week so go ahead check it out you won't regret I go down it. to his uh, to his patron and um it is great so yep. mario is very helpful for me to um when it comes to big trades and stuff like that and i use a lot of his stuff on my patron so go ahead and take a look the link is down below and we also have a very active discord chat that is yes, active sir. like it, it is active like 24 hours 24 <laughs> hours a day so yep. Uh, go check it out. Thank you very much, bro. So see you on Thursday. We're going to be talking about the uh, jobs report that comes out on Friday. Yes, sir. So take care, buddy. Thank you very much. Bye, take guys. Care, see you on Thursday. Take care.